Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a video based on my first and second week of uni and I did film a vlog of the first week of Freshers Week but then I didn't really like it because it was quite a chatty vlog, like it wasn't really me kind of showing anything, it was just me talking so I thought I'd best sort of sit down and do a video and I can also talk about the first week I've had and also the second week. So the first week was like the introductory week, it was Freshers Week and that mainly involved kind of loads of introduction talks and just loads of talks about random things that wasn't necessarily 100% needed but I went to them anyway and there was like fairs and things going on and obviously clubs to go to in the evening times. During the day, on Monday, obviously that was my first day and surprisingly I wasn't that nervous to go. I thought that when I, like when I was younger I always thought that going to uni would be like a really like massive thing and like really really scary but at the time I was absolutely fine I wasn't really that nervous and when I went in on Monday I made a friend like literally instantly before I even went into the hall I saw somebody going in and I was like oh what are you going in there for and they said accounting and finance which is the same as me and yeah we went in sat down and it was just a talk on the course, that kind of thing. I then went and got my enrolment. So, well, I did my enrolment. I went and got my ID card and everything like that. So yeah, my ID card's basically just got my face on it and it's got my ID number and all that kind of thing. It gets me into the library. It lets me print stuff off. It gets me like my student discounts and stuff like that in like shops and places like that. So it is a good little bit of ID. It kind of just shows that I go to the uni. And that was basically it for Monday. I did go to some of the stalls in the kind of fresh as fair like little area thing I don't know what it's called but there's loads of stalls of different um things kind of I don't know they were giving out free Domino's pizza free crispy creme donuts and loads of different things that were free I didn't have like any food or anything like that um because I wasn't like too hungry and I wanted to be a bit healthier yeah basically we just spent some time going through that then I came home and I didn't actually do much like at home I then went out in the evening I went to a club with my friends and me and Steph had to come back early to my house because I had a lecture the next morning at 9am which would have meant me getting up at like half past six and I wanted to go home early so we did come home early from that and then I had a few lectures sort of the next few days, like not too many here and there. They weren't proper lectures, they were just like introductory talks and things like that. And it wasn't like, a, you know, a proper teaching lecture. Um, and they were kind of talking about the extra things that you can do and sort of to help you like extra qualifications that you can get after this and things like that and most of the talks were actually quite long and when you sat there for like two hours you do get a little bit bored so at times I was a little bit bored and yeah that wasn't great but we were just sort of getting a feel for the place and the buildings and the room numbers and that kind of thing and sort of understanding the place and I made another friend so I've got two friends now that I made um from last week and they are still both my friends now they are on the course that I'm on so that's really good but I don't think they're in the same seminars that I'm in well they're not because it's not on my timetable towards the end of the week I got my timetable on line I looked on their website and it was online and it just showed me when all my lectures were and my seminars. For the first week of uni, I didn't have any seminars. I just had lectures because what you do in the lecture is kind of what they talk about in the seminar. So you can't really have seminars without having lectures first. So you have a week of lectures and then the next week will be lectures and seminars. So I haven't actually had a seminar yet, but it's more kind of one-to-one. -one. In some of my lecture rooms, there ranges from like 100 to 500 people. So there is quite a lot of people in a lecture room and it's not one-to-one -one at all. It's just kind of sit down, listen to what they say, take notes, write it down and sort of get on basically and you don't really like have time to talk. A couple of my lectures I'm doing as part of my accounting course course is organisational behaviour and that is quite an interactive lecture and there's about 500 people in that room and they're like picking on people to answer things and stuff like that so that's quite scary because you have to actually answer in front of the whole room and yeah I'll talk about that more in future videos because obviously I don't really understand 
like the you know the little sections to the course that I'm doing but I will do further videos on my actual course in the future but this is just kind of my experience with uni in general for the first couple of weeks then obviously seminars and things like that they will be more sort of interactive and they will be a, a you know a much smaller group I'm not entirely sure how many people will be in my seminar groups but I will let you know in future videos I'll do videos on that kind of thing but that's just more kind of where I can ask questions and I can it's more one-to-one -one in a way. I won't have any questions because I never do. Like, it's not that I'm too scared to ask. I just don't have any questions. I'm the kind of person that likes to kind of listen, write stuff down. And then if I have any questions, I just tend to research it and find the answer. But, you know, if I do, then that's the time to ask the questions. A bat hole. And then this is... I also met my tutor group you get given a tutor group and it's basically you get a kind of personal tutor and that's the person that you'll go to if you have any issues or problems or anything like that or you just want to talk to somebody I obviously was given mine and my tutor group I would say I think there's about 16 to 18 people in my group I'm not sure and basically we had our first session on freshers week just to get to know each other it was literally you know a very short amount of time and we went around the group saying where everyone was from and that kind of thing and literally I was the only person in my group from Lincoln and by the way I'm going to Lincoln University so everybody else has literally travelled down from either different countries or from different areas of England just to come to that uni so I was like wow like I'm literally like the only one from Lincoln um, but there is definitely other people from Lincoln because I know some of them um, but just not in my tutor group and then we played a little game um, with some chairs or something like that like I can't be bothered to explain it but I hate it when like teachers and people do like little interactive games but that wasn't too bad um, they're trying to do it because you to sort of try and you know get everyone to get to know each other but I don't really think it works like that I think you just kind of get to know each other naturally anyway but yeah she did that and I think we have a tutor sort of group like once every semester or so like or twice every semester like it's not very sort of um often or anything like that and that's just the person that you go to if you need to uh the camera so overall the first week of uni which was freshers week i didn't actually go out to any clubs that often i think i only went out once but you know that's not why i'm at uni anyway and i'm not like that much of a person that likes to drink too much but yeah so the first week was really really good i felt really positive about it i was quite excited i'd made two friends still got them friends and i really really liked it and then the second week has been just sort of lectures and i've just finished the second week lectures and things like that and i'm really happy met my teachers i'm quite happy with them i do know that there is going to be a lot of things that challenge me on this course i don't mean sort of in terms of whether the information is hard to learn i mean like you've got to do presentations you've got to work with teams you've got to really kind of push yourself so it's definitely something that i'm going to end up struggling with or having to really push myself i always tell myself that if i don't want to do something i don't have to and i know that sounds kind of like i don't know obnoxious or whatever but that i don't mean it like that what I mean is that if I really struggle with something, I'm not going to put myself in a situation where I'm going to be extremely uncomfortable. If I, you know, because obviously when I was younger, I had my selective mutism and the only way I was able to recover from that is by just pushing myself ever so slightly and not pushing myself above a point, if you know what I mean. Like if you push yourself too far, then you, you, it will be horrible. So I will know myself and I will know how far to push myself. I did a personality test for one of my accountant, um, for one of my lecturers and my personality set test said I was 64% extroverted, which is obviously, you know, the complete opposite to what I would have been if I took that test probably like five years ago. But yeah, apparently I'm 64% extroverted, which I do kind of agree with because I do... I am a quite a chatty person. I do talk to people. I do tend to get along with like literally everybody very well. The and I also, you know, I'm quite comfortable with giving presentations surprisingly, but it's just certain specific situations that I can't really name because, you know, it, it's just the situation itself is always different. 
but that's when I will struggle so that's when I will have to kind of push myself a little bit more but yeah I will get to that when I do those things and I'll do videos on them. I am going to do plenty of uni videos on this channel this is going to be the first video on my channel for uni it's going to be in the playlist uni video so this will be the first video in that if you've got any questions then please do leave them down below by the way i am going to lincoln uni, uni studying accounting and finance i'm living at home so i'm not actually in the uni accommodation so i can't really say about that or anything like that but so far so good a lot happy i'm very happy with how it's going and yeah that's basically it um so yeah this video is just to kind of explain how i'm feeling basically just in case you're going to uni next year and you just want to know how the first couple of weeks are they it's quite easy like they do sort of slowly bring you into things especially freshers week that's really really easy um i think it's just kind of meeting people even though you think and you worry am i going to meet anybody like am i going to make any friends yes you are like almost instantly I did anyway so um, there's just so many people that it's difficult not to make some friends and plus everybody else has moved from so many different places that they don't it's they don't already have friends if you know what I mean like it's hard to enter a group of friends when they're already friends but if you're just meeting somebody else that doesn't have any friends like you just make friends straight away so yeah this is the end of the video got any questions leave them down below subscribe for more content on this channel and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!